nine o'clock in the morning. I am already home and, well, okay. I'm home like in the city. Um, I haven't been home for more than like five minutes and I'm already at my first eating destination. I told you guys this is gonna be a mukbang, like let's be real. So the first place I'm at is called Plaza's and it's like a menuderia. They basically just have delicious like taco stand Mexican type food. So if you guys are in like the South Chula Vista area, I think it's on Anita and Broadway. I don't know, I'll leave the information down below. But the menudo here is actually really, really, really good. You guys, do you see this little pink house? This is the house that I grew up in. When you guys see that coordinates bar necklace that I wear, these are the coordinates to this house. This is where I grew up and my brother and I used to play outside with the stray cats and the chickens. Hi, why hello. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Yes, yeah, say hello. Say hi, I'm Mila. And there's, hey, Vise, Ben. This is Vicente. Hey, come here. Come here, handsome boy. Oh, you're so handsome. This one's my favorite, though. Come here, fat girl. You, you are so fat. This is Kika. Say hi, Kika. Say hi. Say hi. Hi, sweet girl. I missed you. I missed you, Kika. Yes, I did. It's a pretty girl. Vicente. Vicente. Handsome boy. Vicente. Vicente, ven. Ben. You guys, it is 10 o'clock. Look where I am standing. That's my mom. This is a. Uh... You hear my mom? I feel like I'm. At, I feel like I'm literally at home again. <laughs> this is my old room. Can you guys see my old room? Look at that. I'm like literally standing in the entire thing right now. Uh, it's 10 o'clock, I'm actually gonna go with my mom to um, an appointment. Um, and then, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I mean, besides eat, obviously, but probably hang out with my goddaughter, my um, nephew. Um, but obviously my priorities were menudo and the dogs. <laughs> now that that's been taken care of, we can proceed with like regular day stuff. So it's actually really hot here, so I had to change my shirt. Um, but yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm really excited though. It's kind of nice to be back home, you know? Everything's so familiar. You guys, um, obviously priorities are first, right? So we're driving home and my mom's like, is there anything you wanna do? Do you wanna go to the mall? Do you wanna buy some shoes? I was like, um, does that Seafood City have a Valerio's Bakery? Because I could really go for some turron right now. Filipino subscribers, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna show you guys this uh, awesome supermarket. <laughs> This will change your life. Look at this. <gasps> oh. Hello. So we get some of this. That's vegetable now. Oh, this is just banana. banana. This is just banana. So lo que está aquí es lo mismo que está allá, pero ya está enrollado. I want the, I want the carbs. Um, they're 50 cents each. Ooh, I used to love this too. Me comía todo el virote entero, ¿lo crees? You're like, ah, oh, yeah, actually. guys have never had the run you're missing out on life so it's like oh, you just have to trust me that's amazing I think it's banana or plantain wrapped deep fried and then covered in sugar <laughs> because sugar <laughs>
¿Qué no dijiste la ketchup ya? La ketchup. Sí. El, no digas. El, el, que, el camarón que se duerme se lo lleva a la fregada. <risa> Valiente. Wait. Antes de ponerse pedo. You just said this. Pay oh. attention. Pay attention. <risa> Calera. <risa> La bota, la bota, no, la campanona. Can you get something I have, please? El nopal. You guys, this Jello is the most delicious dessert I've ever had in my entire life. So one of my mom's sisters, my favorite aunt, makes this dessert every single time I come back home to San Diego. And it's like a strawberry jello and like whipped cream magic situation. So every time she knows I'm coming, she makes me a whole pie. And then I have to... Do you hear my mom? Do you want it? And then I have to share with everybody. What the heck, man? Yes, you do. Lotería, 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 lotería. I know, that was my bird. No? No. I'm getting nervous. Bird is bird! I sound like a bird. guys happy saturday um i'm pretty sure my mom is still asleep my dad usually gets up pretty early like i'm talking like four or five in the morning um i just woke up it's 6 30 which means it's 8 30 texas time here's the problem though so thursday night i didn't go to bed until midnight but i had to get up at three so i was running on literally no sleep which is why in the vlog that you've seen which was very poorly taken <laughs> um you saw me with coffee every like hour. Um, I normally drink coffee, I normally love coffee, but I normally have one cup of coffee. Um, so definitely kept me alive yesterday, but yesterday was such a great day. I got to spend the entirety of it with my goddaughter and my nephew, and they're just amazing, brilliant, healthy, bright, just lovable children. And it sucks that, you know, they're so far away and they can't grow up with my boys, but you know, I do my best to see them and just make sure they know that they have an aunt that loves them so much. Um, but yesterday was, I mean, I told you guys, there's a saying in Spanish that says, sobreviso no hay engaño, which means after warning, there's no like betrayal, right? Like I told you guys this vlog was going to be kind of all over the place and just food. So literally I got here in the morning yesterday, Friday, we had Manuvo. I went to the doctor with my mom. On the drive home she's like do you want to go to the mall like do a haul or something i was like no i kind of want to go to valerio's <laughs> which is a filipino bakery oh my god their food there is amazing um so we went to valerio's we came home my sister-in-law came over with the kids we just played and then my nephew was like i'm hungry and i was like thank you yes <laughs> so we went to, <laughs> we went to get el pollo loco which is when i was pregnant in Texas with my first son I remember telling my ex that I wanted pollo loco and he drove me all the way to Fort Worth which was where the only pollo loco in in like the DFW area was and when we got there after driving for like an hour it was closed like it didn't exist anymore well this pregnant one cried <laughs> That's how much I love it. So when I uh, told my friend Kelly that I was coming to visit California, she actually lives in, in California. She was like, dude, don't forget to eat pollo loco. <laughs> so that's all we did yesterday. We ate pollo loco, we hung out, we played video games, we played Jenga and Loteria and El Juego de la Oca, like so many of these fun table games that are just hysterical to play with my mom because my mom is a riot. If you guys think I'm funny, my mom is like me times four. 400,000 um so it's just super great right now it's 6 30 um saturday my little nephew um invited me to his little soccer game which is so cute 
So um, his soccer game's at 10.30, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a shower, um, get ready, and then go to his little soccer game. But honestly, you guys, like, what am I doing today? I came here to hang out with my family, that's it. Well, <laughs> to eat. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, I have been trying to not have my family in the vlog just because I never ask. I never say like, do you want to be in the vlog or do you mind if you're in the vlog? I just don't put people in the vlog because I feel like it's invasive or I don't know. I just don't want to make them uncomfortable. So if they ask or if they say, oh, can I take a picture or whatever, then I'll, I'll put them in. But uh, I just try to keep that private. You know, I'm just here to spend time with my family, but I promised you guys that I would vlog. Um, but it's been a great weekend. It's been awesome to come back home and to just be home and to be in my room. I used to be obsessed with this room because look at this mirror. It's like the entire wall was a mirror. So it took me forever to get ready. Um, and then my aunt came to visit me yesterday, the one that made me the um, special Jello dessert that she makes me every single time she knows I'm coming. You guys, this aunt, my aunt Vico, she is like everyone's mom. Do you guys have an aunt like that? That she's like everyone's mother? That's her, she's amazing. So she said she's had this shirt for me for months and months and months. She's like, I wanted to see your face. I wanted to give it to you in person. I screamed. I scared the baby. <laughs> One of my cousins had a baby and I got to meet her. She's the most cutest thing ever. I swear I need to put her in my vlog. Um, so she brought this shirt for me. Isn't it the best? Anyway, so that's all I got going on for now. Um, I'm gonna take a shower and get ready. And then that's my alarm. That means check in for your flight. Um, and that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey you guys, it is 10 o'clock. Um, I put on just a little bit of makeup, like the littlest bit, let me show you. Um, I just did concealer, like here and here. And then I did my brows, mascara, and then I just put some oil on my lips. Um, this shirt, let me show you guys this shirt. So yesterday, my aunt, remember I showed you the panda shirt? She brought everyone like a little present. This is, remember I told you she's like everyone's mom. So she brought everyone a little present and she got this shirt for my mom. And I was like, mom, I don't think, look how cute this is. I was like, mom, I don't think that shirt's gonna fit you. If I'm just honest with you, I don't think that shirt's gonna fit. She's like, oh really? You don't think it's gonna fit or you like it? And I was like, well, let's just, uh, let me just try it on for a second. Isn't that adorable? It's like a, like a purpley brownish taupe. It's such a beautiful color. And then right now you guys know how like embroidered roses on everything is like super trendy. So, um, man, so cute. Kind of want to wear it today, but, uh, I don't have the right bra, so I don't want my straps to show. Anyway, so yeah. And then I'm wearing my little boots that I showed you guys in my vlog last weekend. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna change. I'll probably just wear um, like a white blouse and just roll up the sleeves. We're gonna go to my um, nephew's soccer game. So that should be fun. Um, but yeah, super cute shirt, isn't it? Um, I was like, I wonder if my aunt's gonna get mad if I steal it from my mom. Hey, hey you guys, it's 10.30. I'm actually at Chula Vista High School, which is, uh, this is basically like my normal stomping ground. And I'm sorry if it's windy and you can't hear me. I guess I should just show you. Okay guys, let's have a very important conversation. If you are in, I don't know, Chula Vista area or even South Chula Vista and you want tacos de barbacoa or anything barbacoa related or anything delicious related, there is this restaurant on um, Main Street called El Ranchero and I think there's several locations. I think there's one on 3rd Avenue too. Their raspados are uh, amazing. So um, it's on Main, in between Main and I think Orange and 3rd super super yummy yeah there's several locations I left my parents inside ordering my mom's like what do you want I was like this 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 and she's like that's it are you sure I'm like yeah that's about it so let me show you guys um, restaurant so this is what the outside looks like in case you miss it it's really hard to miss actually it's really easy to miss because it's kind of hidden in between like random like car places oh look at that that looks delicious. Look what I got you guys. This is a tostada de cueritos. It's amazing. These are like in vinegar and then they put like a smear of refried beans on the bottom. And then these are tacos de barbacoa. Let me show you. Look at that. I don't get them with onion. I mean, it tastes better with onion, but for some reason I'm like, um, not today.
I didn't hear you. What kind of donut? I told you, I told you, I told you, I I told you, I I'm in Dallas. <laughs> it is 12 o'clock. Um, I'm so happy to be back. I'm happy to be back because this is like me now, you know, like here, this is my home. This is where my children are, where my dogs are. Um, so it just feels good to be here and to be in my car and to just, you know, just be back to me. It always is a little bit bittersweet though because I feel like my trips back home are very short lived. They're very rushed. Um, you know, it's like, it feels like I get there and then I'm already leaving. Um, so that's a little sad, but I was really, 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 really happy to see my parents, uh, my niece, my nephew, my brother, his wife. I got to meet another one of my little baby nieces, which is so cute. <sighs> um, yeah, it just feels like it's so fast. You know, it doesn't feel like a vacation. It just feels like I'm home, which is great. Um, but you know, the travel and everything is so inconvenient. Three hours on an airplane. Anyway, so it's 12 o'clock. I told you guys this vlog wasn't gonna be that interesting, but y'all wanted me to vlog, so I'm doing it for ya. <laughs> I don't know what I got going on for the rest of today, but you guys will tag along if anything exciting happens. Um, I do wanna go to church sometime today. I don't know what time I'll be able to finagle that, but we'll make it happen. I didn't go last week. Definitely need to go this week. Um, the day is beautiful. Um, it's 80 degrees, super sunny and bright. It's wonderful. I wonder what I'll do. I have to make like a return at Express. Is that fun maybe? No? Whatever. All right, you guys, now I'm just rambling. The huge. I'll check in later. Bye. Hey, hey you guys. It is 10.30 on Sunday night. Oh, you guys, I really hope this vlog isn't boring. <laughs> you were warned. Um, it was such, I feel like, I feel like it was such a long weekend. Like I feel, you know what I mean? Like I feel like it was like way longer than it actually was, but it's the same length of every weekend. Um, I just feel like I did so much. I'm like, oh yeah, I was like in California and then I came back and I did all this cool stuff here. No, I didn't. I literally came home from the airport. The minute I walked in the house, like I unpacked, I vacuumed, I cleaned the kitchen. Well, I didn't actually clean the kitchen. It was already clean when I left. Like I'm one of those people, but like I unloaded the dishwasher. Um, uh, Rafael, Mr. Pitt, uh, brought back the dogs. So I spent time with them for a little bit. I cut up on email. I went to church. So it was like, non-stop 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 since like friday mornings it's crazy it's such a productive day um but i don't know you know i was thinking about what we can talk about for this like closing monologue that i usually like i put a lot of effort into like the closing the closing monologue in my vlogs because i feel like if you make it through the end it's the least I can do is to share something that maybe could perhaps inspire you or make you smile or, I don't know, 
keep you company for a while. You know, it's the least I can do when you watch these like super long vlogs. But, um, you know, the last vlog that we talked about, um, the last vlog that we had, we talked about how, like, it's how two people can make the same mistake, but then one person is really quick to forgive and then the other person doesn't even acknowledge that they did something wrong, even though both of us made the same mistake. Like, if we both made the same mistake, the fact is that we both did something wrong. You know, and I'm very easy to um, forgive when someone hurts me. Super easy. Like, super, like, almost dumb. Like, I'm almost dumb in terms of, like, how quickly I can forgive someone. Because I feel like, I don't know, we all make poor choices. And it's, who are we to judge and to haze someone over something stupid, you know? I mean, if it wasn't something, like, super massive, crazy, super insulting, and just horrendous, then just move on, you know? And so that's what we talked about last week. So I told you guys about how like, oh yeah, I'm super quick to forgive and I let it go and we both made the same mistake and blah, blah, blah. And I tell you guys all the time, I'm the queen of benefit of the doubt. And I always give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Everyone, you know, we all make mistakes. Like I'm just, I'm almost like doormat status, but not so much, you know? And so I was thinking about that and I thought, okay, so I'm continuously disappointed because of my my idea that I hope and wish that people were more similar to me in the way that I am. And I thought, well, maybe, um, and this is me being benefit of the doubt, so maybe it takes time, and maybe it takes people time to forgive. You know, I forgive at the drop of a hat, but other people may not be as strong as me, or other people may not be as forgiving as me, or other people may not be as, Maybe other people have like bigger obstacles, like a huge ego or uh, previous experience with people hurting them or something. So they're a lot um, more, they take their time in forgiving someone, you know? And so, I don't know. I just felt like I would hate, I would hate to influence you guys in the sense that I say, oh, you should be super quick to forgive or you should be super slow to forgive. You know, each of us have our... Um, each of us have our timeline, each of us have our pace, each of us have our like, each of us have our training wheels, you know what I mean? Like each of us have our training wheels and our pace and the, the comfort zone of how we like to do things. And so I feel like it's very important that you guys never forget A, your worth or your value or how important you are. You never, ever, ever, ever put anyone else ahead of you. I know that sounds kind of like egotistical or megalomaniac or narcissistic or whatever, but like put yourself first, you know, take care of yourself, nourish yourself, um, just foster good feelings, you know, protect yourself and, and know your value so that you, you don't settle for anything less than you deserve. And lastly, don't let people dictate the pace of your life the pace that you do things, the pace that you take or that you require to trust someone or the pace that you require to be vulnerable with someone or the pace that you require to, I don't know. You know what I'm saying is like, each of us have our pace, like our little, our style, the, the, the amount of time that it takes us to get out of our comfort zone or to bring the walls down to let people in. Um, and I know a lot of us can have experience previous sour experiences that you know build our wall up but you have to remember that if you have a wall to protect yourself that wall also keeps people out so it's a good thing but it's also a bad thing so honor yourself honor your feelings honor your pace but also keep in mind that maybe what you think that you're doing to protect yourself might also be causing you harm you know it might be doing you a disservice. So it doesn't sound so detrimental. It might be doing you a disservice. So just take a moment to, you know, uh, gauge what your comfort time frame is. And is it reasonable? Is it sensible? Is it a little, you know, is it a little, is it to protect yourself? 
you know, because I don't know. I feel like in life, if you don't risk, you don't win. If you don't gamble, you don't win. And so oftentimes we spend so much time trying to protect ourselves and trying to, to, to protect our heart and to protect our feelings and to protect our pride and our ego that, I don't know, we can miss out on really good opportunities. So... I don't know how I got on this subject, but I was just thinking about last weekend's vlog and how, you know, two people can do the same thing and one person's really easy to forgive, the other person takes their time. I was like, you know, this kind of goes back to what me and Sam were talking about a few months ago where she was like, you know, you can't um, discount other people's feelings. You have to honor, you know, their feelings and their timeline, their pace. Not everyone does things the way that we do things and not everyone has the same pace as we do. So I don't know. It's always important to, you know, honor yourself, protect yourself and to, you know, put yourself first. But at the same time, don't let that affect the way that you judge others because they might have other chapters in their book before you walked into that book that have made them take this different type of pace. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Maybe it's just late and I'm tired and jet lagged. I mean, it's a two hour time difference from California. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog next week. I kind of feel like I need to take like a, I kind of feel like I need Botox. <laughs> uh, I kind of feel like I need to take a vlogging break. I feel like I need to just take a vlogging break, maybe like a month off or something and just recharge my batteries. Cause um, I don't know. I'm kind of having those feelings where I just need to stop vlogging for a second. But, I mean, maybe I'm just having a moment of weakness. Anyway, that's all. All of the information, clothes, restaurants, everything that you guys saw will be listed and linked in the description box below. Um, and I think that's it, you guys. I love you so much. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to one another. And you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.